there was a DJ in the 90s who was real into like trance music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ben Bath. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it or not, but it's right, like, dude. Yeah. We put on DJ sets for like 24 hours. 24 hours. Is that the guy that sings that song? Like, I'm, I just want to go to sleep. Like, it's a dance song. Like, it's, it's just, you know, no. like these. And, and the DJ played for seven days. You know that song? No, I don't know that no? song. No? I'll have to find it for you. Yeah, man. I mean, I can understand why that happens. Like, who wants to leave the club? Like, and the other thing is, like, I, when I left the club, like, I, when I got home at 7 a.m., at 8 a.m., these two. Um, young women pulled into our our uh, hotel in Las Vegas, and it's 8 a.m. and they are dressed to the nines. And so, I mean, coming home out of a cab at 8 a.m. on Sunday morning, it's just it's you just should stay the rest of the day. I mean, that's all there is to it. <laughs> oh, hey, are we doing a show or something? Uh, maybe. I mean, awesome. if that's what you call it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought maybe that's what we were going to do. Just eight hours of us babbling about nothing. Well, it wouldn't be the first time. No, that's pretty much what we do. <laughs> but we shouldn't because today we maybe have new visitors, brand new people to Friday Internet Marketing with the tools. That's awesome. So I what, know. Are you going to do your standard welcome opening? Well, you know, I would, except I'm at the uh, Cleveland Museum of Art, and I think if I just, like, yelled here, they might kick me out. So if that happens <laughs> next time you're in the office, what, we can just kick you out? That's a, I didn't know that was an option. <laughs> I didn't want to tell you, but that's that's the case, yes. I, you could just kick me out. I'd just be like, if you yell one more time, please, sir. I actually almost got kicked out of the museum uh, without yelling. You I, I, yeah, my hat. I was walking down by the art, and this guard came over, and he's like, "Hey, man, that hat's got a wide brim, and uh, you know, you get a little close to that art, and we could lose a speck of paint." <laughs> so I'm just like, you better take that hat off. Is that what he said? Yeah, that's what he said. That's what he told me. You know, that's the that's the one downside to art museums is there's a lot of rules. I understand why there's rules, but oof, a lot of rules. But yeah, so today we're going to be talking about Waldorf schools. So, um, do you know anything about Waldorf schools? Are you like, if if you hadn't been around me, do you know anything about them? Mm, like that, like what I known that they existed. Yeah. Did you know they even existed? No. No. Right on. Well, I think you're probably not. Alone, I don't. You know, it's not okay. Let me ask you this: Have you ever heard of a Montessori school? Yes. Okay. Okay. So that's generally the you know that's the general consensus. Do you know what a Montessori school, like why it's different? Um, I used to, but now I do. Yeah, that's about true too. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> so the thing about a Montessori school is that like it's it's kind of yeah, and, and now this is going to be embarrassing because I'm no expert in any of this stuff. I wish Rocky was here. She was going to join me, but she, like, chickened out because she didn't want to talk to her computer in the middle of the art museum. But at any rate, the, uh, the you know, so so with with a Montessori school, it's, it's very child-led. So a child can go to the blocks and just work on the blocks for, like, the entire day, you know, and, and, and they build their strengths. Well, in a in a um, Waldorf school, it's it's not quite like that, but it is very. Um, it's about educating the whole child. So that's a that's a um, a key phrase for them. You know, um, the mind, body, and spirit, and it is it is fostering the individuality of the child, that, that creative spirit of the individual child. So, you know, and, and I will say, if you're new to the uh, Friday Internet Marketing with the Tools show, welcome. And I, I, Greg and I were talking about it, but I moved the comments down below this uh, the show here um, just simply because they're having technical difficulty. But if you have any comments? You can write them down in there, um, and we will we look at those occasionally, and um, 
you know, we can check those out. And I will also say that not every week am I at the art museum, but uh, it's my kid's last day of spring break, and uh, the Cleveland Museum of Art is free. Have you always known that, Greg? Is that, like, information you've been withholding from me? Always been free. Always? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I don't come here, like, all the time. Special galleries shows that yeah. they have to for that. Yeah, that's true. The, uh, the, uh, uh, they got, they've got, um, I think, a Van Gogh exhibit that will run you 10 bucks. but even that's amazing. I, I will say the parking is not free. That's $10. But other than that, this is amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> um, but at any rate, before we dive into these uh, reviews, is there anything uh, interesting going on in the world of Internet marketing that you wanted to, uh, you know, chat about today, man? Um, it suddenly became popular with people on Twitter. <laughs> it's not really <laughs> related to that. Well, that is pretty interesting. You, you've kind of, uh, you have uh, taken over the Twitter sphere with a, um, are you still doing your campaign? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, what are some of your more recent stats? Well, it actually worked out pretty well, and so I started another one. <laughs> All right. Can you set the stage and tell the people what you've been doing? No, oh, we better just jump right into the. Are wall. you sure? Don't you want? Do you think they can't learn anything from your your Twitter camp? Or shit, is it too early? Maybe we should come back. We need more data. We need more data. Yeah. Well. Well, at any rate, needless to say, Greg is doing some very interesting Twitter advertisement research, and uh, I don't honestly know if <laughs> there's going to be anything we can learn from it, but I'm sure there is, because it's really working. <laughs> oh, let's talk about some Waldorf. All right, let's do it, man. Let's do it. You want to pull one up? Which one do you want to start with? I will pull one up. Did, did you? I you explained about the Montessori. Yeah. Well, I mean, and then I kind of went into to to Waldorf. It's just you know, just in a real brief nutshell, it is. If you're not familiar with it, it is a school that focuses on the whole child and, um, you know, helps them, uh, you know, kind of cultivate their 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 inner creative spirit, so to speak. Nice. So there you go. Yeah. We have a, a couple people. So we've been doing these site reviews. We have a couple different uh, Waldorf schools that submitted. We also have some. Other, I mean, actually, we have a handful that submitted to be reviewed, um, along with some other people. But it's frequent viewers of the show know that we just kind of sometimes run out of time. So right on. If you want to submit something, you know, the sooner the better. You know, chance for you to get in. Um, but uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. Let's Go into the first one here. The first one we're going to be looking at is called Swallowtail. Okay, this is Brenda. Brenda McCoy's uh, site. Uh, you should know that we uh, we have a group um, on Facebook. It's a it's a Waldorf marketing group on Facebook, and it's a really great group. And um, they uh, and and so I just put it out to them. They asked them if they wanted to do these site reviews, and so we got a few to do. So let's see this. Uh, let's see what this this swallowtail is all about, man. Well, it looks like a nice little website. I like the watercolor. Do you think a kid painted that? You know, I would not be surprised if they did. That could very well be. Um, watercolors are a big part. Of the Waldorf education, so it's it's one of these things like they don't really you know like it's 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 this this whole creative environment where you don't want to box the kid in and and watercolors do this nice flowy swirly thing that um, you know kids seem to love. So yeah, that I would not be surprised. That's cool. So it's a Waldorf school and farm. And do they have butterflies, and there's obviously a little child painting stuff. I'm drawn to imagery um, more than anything uh, when I first look at a website. Um, there's some auction ticket things. Hmm, yeah, the auction for uh, Waldorf School is huge. We just had ours. So uh, is that like so you can buy tickets online there? So it looks like buy your auction tickets. Okay. 
click there. I don't know if that donate is that what that is. Uh, I don't know. Let's look at both of those. Okay. So if I click on auction tickets, it takes me to this. Okay. Is that like a place where you can buy online? It appears to be. It appears that uh, well, we can. Uh, your little magic-y thing over here. Here's that you know you just enter the quantity of your tickets, and then optional donation. Maybe we could uh, next. I don't know. Those that seems pretty clear to me. It is hosted on a different site. Yeah. Um, it is secure. So that's good. What do you think about this, Sage? Yeah, I mean, it seems pretty good. What is that What is that button that's right next to next? What's the button right to the right of next? It says reset. Oh, reset. Okay, cool. And so, and like, there's different options of things you can buy there. Is that right? So we've got a uh, single admission dinner um, or a single golf uh, with no dinner or a single golf ticket with dinner, depending on whether you want to golf or not, um, and then golf options, I don't really know anything about golf. <laughs> Maybe golfing people would get that stuff. Yeah, I'm sure if I was golfing, I'd be like, oh, yeah, all that. <laughs> I need like four ball drops. I think that might be me. I might need a lot of ball drops. That sounds like, or mulligans, a lot of mulligans. That yeah, sounds like something I also need. You know, I mean... <laughs> You know what I want to do when they when uh, at these golf outings? I want to be the guy that drives the beer cart. That's really my that's my level of golf. Be beer cart guy. Yeah, I love that. So if they have that option on there, be the beer cart driver. I would totally buy that at any price. I believe you, but I don't see it here. Maybe. <laughs> not. Do you know something else? Now, I don't know if this school does it, but one of the things that we have at our school is the golden ticket. And the golden ticket is a 50-50 drawing, and it costs 40 bucks. And um, if they have, like, so so we had three different kinds of um, uh, raffles. So we had we had the golden ticket, we had this heads or tails on the game, and then we had um, uh, just, I think, some other... Like oh we uh, get a month of or like five hundred dollars off tuition, and if they have those, you know you might pick up a few of those if you just offered to you know let people buy them right there on the uh, on the web. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Interesting. But, Over here on the left of the, the option to buy my tickets here, which is what I thought I was doing on this page. What happens when you click that? Out. Uh, it takes me right back to this page. Yeah, it's probably just um, you know the, a, a templated left-hand navigation, and you know, I, I I don't know what site they're using for this, but it's you know they probably can put in one navigation, and it would be cool if it was like a different color or something along those lines, but I'd say that's probably okay. Um, so now we're back at the home page. I'm going to see what this donate button is, see if that takes me to the same place or not. Yeah, right. It doesn't. See, this just takes me to a page where I can donate to the school. Hmm, okay. Right. So That's nice, but it's a little weird for me because over here where it says you know, buy your auction tickets, I'm looking at this like one big thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, I have, I, I'm guilty of this all the time. Like, I have a half a dozen things I want people to buy, and I just, I just like to start throwing them all up there. Um, but I do think that it becomes confusing. Like, and, and I know it's confusing. Like, when my wife starts asking me, like, so what do you want me to buy again? And then I know I'm in trouble. You know, because <laughs> if my wife doesn't know, <laughs> there's a mess. So. I um, I'm wondering if and and plus, like, uh, I mean, without a good call to action on the donate, I kind of I, I imagine maybe that the conversion on that's fairly low, like you know maybe there needs to be like donate for what, um, uh, 
a lot of times a school will have a particular project, like they're gonna they're building a greenhouse or you know they need a new roof or something along those lines. And you know if you had a page that said donate for this cause, I, you might get a a higher conversion rate, but I'm tempted, at least during the auction time, to maybe consider removing that from the left-hand navigation. What do you think about that? Right. You know, the other thing is, like, actually, when I kept reading as you were talking here, and then visually, like I said before, I was thinking it was like this was part of it, but then I looked further, and I'm like, oh, I think this is part of it too, mm. because they're talking about fundraising for Amazon, and I'm like, oh, okay, so I'm gonna click on this button and donate by buying my tickets and it's got something to do with Amazon. Right. That's not the case. In reality, this is a third call to action right here. Oh, that you can buy stuff there too? Yeah, and so basically that's just a, basically that's just a, an affiliate link. Right. And so if, you, if I click through on this, it's going to take me to Amazon. And then if I buy something over here while I'm at Amazon, Amazon will kick back 15% of it. I know that because I've been doing this a long time, but I don't think that's very clear. Yeah. I'm wondering, Greg, if maybe during this auction time, like they want to get as many people to this auction as possible, if they should take that whole left-hand navigation and make some like really great banner, maybe like hire out a banner developer and... That, that 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 compels people to click on that because it does seem a little confusing. Yeah, I think that that would be a really good idea, actually. I mean, that, it seems to be that that would be your, the call to action that you really, really want right in right now. And then when it's done, you can bring this stuff back. I would maybe make it a little clearer the difference between just a straight donation, like you said. Why would they be donating? And then like how to use the Amazon thing. Yeah. Um, for our school, the auction is our biggest uh, fundraiser, and so, uh, and you know, if that's the case with them as well, then you know, you don't want any confusion. You know, everything needs to focus, especially during that time, up until the the, um, you know, I think their auction. What they say at the end of April or something like that. Um, they want. I mean. Everything needs to be about getting people to come to that auction, and so you know, I, I I would think that you just you know you you clean out that for the month, you clean out that left-hand navigation, and you just make it auction, auction, auction. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. Um, and then let's see if we look at the event page here. So see over here, there's an auction website, purchase tickets. Mm -hmm. left is that the same site, do you think? Oh, if I click on it, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, no, this is different. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Okay. So this just talks about the event, but doesn't have, uh, I mean, I guess maybe this up here, uh, box right here, maybe I think that might be supposed to be the call to action. Can you click on that? It looks like it. It looks, I mean, to me it looks more like just like a, an image. I know. Right. I can't click on it. You can't click on it? That page definitely needs a bigger call to action. Like, rate, it, I, I, it might be on the top left hand side. Is that that blue link on the top left? Is that a link to buy it, do you think? No, that takes me to this page. <laughs> 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 Here, that'll take me there. Okay, yeah. Well, but, you know, the thing with calls to action are that you really want to make things as clear and as easy as possible. For people. And the more options that you throw at people, the more they're going to get confused and not confused. Yeah, it's amazing how, you know, actually I'm always amazed that people can actually navigate the web at all. When I watch some of them move through the web, it's, uh, you know, like, they get caught down these strange paths, and and so you you just have to make things so simple, like buy your tickets here, and <laughs> and and you do it in text, you do it in images, because some people don't know that images are clickable, um, 
you know, you and plus you have to also remember that that yeah, Waldorf parents aren't always the most technologically savvy. Did you know that uh, there are no uh, computers in I don't know, I think all elementary school Waldorf. Did you know that, Greg? Yeah. It's pretty amazing. So it's pretty cool. But at any rate, I mean, you are dealing with a less savvy group potentially. So the less that you know, the, 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 the you you just want to make things as as dead simple as possible. Do you want to um, move around a little bit through the rest of the site? Or? Yeah, you know, well, the one thing that I wanted to talk about. Oh, here's Rocky. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Good, good, good. So, um, the uh, one of the things that I wanted to talk about is enrollment. So, for our school, and you know, and I'm making a lot of assumptions here. Our school has, um, you know, it, it's it, it's a big enrollment time. Isn't that true? Like right yeah. now, it's really big. Yeah. So, so I mean, I I don't see a lot of enrollment um, focus on the site. Uh, I don't know. Is that true, Greg? Would you say that's the case, or did you see some good enrollment stuff? Um, I haven't seen anything about enrollment. I saw a lot about, uh, like, if you look at the homepage. There was a lot about here's welcome to the school, and then all, a whole bunch of different ways I could try to maybe give them money. Yeah. <laughs> right. 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 But yeah. Bottom. To be fair, we haven't gone through a lot. There's an open house. Yeah. Oh, open houses are big. Um, so that's one of the things that is, you know, there's so much going on at the school that I think maybe you have to have priorities. Like you have to have a, a marketing strategy and say this is the first thing, this is the second thing, because otherwise you're just like, oh yeah, add this and add that. And, oh yeah, we've got a spaghetti dinner coming up, and the next thing you know, your your big stuff gets gets buried. Right, but so, so having a clear cut like strategy of what you think is the most important things for your website and your, and your company. Yeah, yeah, and I would say that they do a quite a good job with the auction button on the left hand side. Like, I mean, that's that's as called. I mean, it's a, it, I, you might include the the phraseology "click here" or "buy now," um, but. Other than that, it's very, very clear. But then I, my feeling is, as it goes from that point on, it becomes a little bit more diffused and, and kind of starts fraying out, and and it you know it gets a little more confusing. Mm -hmm. so, you know, so just I think every once in a while, just having a reset and say, okay, what are our big priorities, and 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 make sure they're clearly represented. Um, Top left, you know, things that are at the top and the left are more important than the things that are at the bottom and the right. So, just you know, top left stuff is more important than bottom right stuff. So, but uh, I don't know. But it's a beautiful site. Um, you know, I love the I love the picture. There's a lot of great information there. Um, you know, I think just tightening up a few call to action, and you know, they got a lot of great stuff going on. Blog. It looks like they're putting all their stuff for a blog. It looks like they're updating it. That's awesome. Oh, that's beautiful. That's so cool. Um, yeah. Uh, see, hold on. Let me click into one of these. Okay. So one thing I'm not seeing on their blog post is I'm not seeing any way to um, share these with people, like mm. on Facebook or Twitter or things like that. Um, right. So that Something you could do to allow people, like the easiest way to allow people to their, their stuff. Yeah, I bet they have social media too. Um, well, they, they have um, Facebook. I saw this on the homepage. Oh no, right. And so they've so, got five likes. That's good. Very nice. Yeah, that's um, awesome. But I would like to see maybe a little bit more of that incorporated within their website, and the blog is like an excellent place for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
That's exactly well, is there right. anything else you wanted to go over on this website? Oh, man, I think this is really great. Um, just I think a few little tweaks could make a big difference conversion-wise um, for for the site. But otherwise, it's beautiful. I think maybe we should move on. All right. You want to go to Kimberton.org? Sure. All right. This is Emily Shaker's site. At least Emily, Emily, I should say Emily and, and Brenda um, are... Uh, on, in the in the group, would you like to hear some of this? I don't know, maybe. Here, try. Uh, oh wait, let me give you this one. Okay. All right. All right. So I don't know if you'll be able if they'll be able to hear you talk, but but maybe we'll see. So. Um, I can hear. Oh oh, you can hear. Yeah. Oh good. All right good. Well let me see if you can wait. Let me show you. Oh we don't need to see. Oh sure we do. There you are. So Rocky does the uh, the blog and social media for the Spring Garden. Waldorf site, so um, so it's awesome that she's here because you know she knows a lot about this, and <laughs> but she didn't really want to do this in in the uh, art museum. But it's nice of you to come out here and yeah, you know embarrass yourself. I was a little self-conscious. Yeah, that, yeah, well that's awesome. Yeah, so let's uh, let's why don't you take us a little test drive through this site, Greg? All right here we are. This is Kimberton Waldorf School. Um, this, uh, to me, was like a drastically different than the last site. Like the last site had like watercolor paintings and little butterflies, and, you know, uh, kid digging in the dirt. Now I have like, I mean, very. This is very, very beautiful, but this looks like a lot more um, professional and like more. I don't want to say corporate feeling. Mm. It doesn't feel corporate, but it just feels. It's the complete opposite of whatever the last one was. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's interesting. Now, are both of these schools K through eight, or are they K, K through twelve? I'm curious. The last one versus this one. Does Kimberton go up to high school? Yeah. So this one goes through grade twelve. So that's a good point. I do not know about the last one. Yeah. So maybe that has a role in it. I think that changes the feel of sites sometimes. Yeah, a little more mud and early childhood and paint. <laughs> um, sometimes I think with the elementary schools and then the high schools, you know, um, yeah, are a little more serious. Yeah, you know. And and you know, I would imagine too, it like depends on your audience. So if if your if your parents are more corporate and more wealthy, then I would say this plays better to them than you know, like a watercolor farm scene. Potentially. Change by yeah. region too. Yeah, region. Where's Kimberton? Yeah, where is that at? Well, the last time I sent my child there, it was <laughs> around the corner. Uh, this is in it's in Kimberton. Oh, in Kimberton, of course. Kimberton. <laughs> is that in is that in um, I'm gonna say Oregon. That sounds nice. Pennsylvania? Sorry, it's kind of small in the broadcast here. That's Pennsylvania. 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 Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's um. So, yeah, it's very interesting that they have a, a just a, a wildly different look and feel. But I mean, I think it's good, yeah, especially right. because it's the K through 12 deal. Sure. Um. So, if you had to look, Greg, what would you say their you know their call to action would be? Mm. Well, that's a good question. I think they watch just watch the video. Watch. Yeah, oh, maybe watch the video. Watch the video. It's eight minutes long. Hmm. It's on Vimeo. That's kind of interesting. I, I think the having the main links on the right hand side there with the with the bigger font. I actually really like that. It does look good. It looks nice. It's clean. Um, it does this little pop openy thingy? Oh, okay. Then. Ooh, that's yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah. You know, you know what's interesting about a really polished site, in my opinion, is that you, you know, like you have this really great graphic designer that worked on it, and you can really tell. I, I think that you know they professionally had this done, and um, and but what one of the things that a graphic designer does not want to do is to make anything like kind of stand out like a sore thumb. It, 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 I think it irritates the sensibilities of a good designer but then consequently when that happens you 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 lose any kind of semblance of guiding the visitor down a particular path and that's what I'm sort of feeling here 
on this site is that like there's everything is is equally beautiful. Mm -hmm. What is the video? Is that sort of like a learn more about our school or kind of video? Part of education. You want to try to watch it? Up? Yeah, let's see. Let's see. And they do have right there at the beginning of the text. Click here to request information. So, um, all right, well, I mean, okay, go ahead. What's that? But I think they hired the same designer to make the video. <laughs> yeah, right on. Yeah, so it's beautiful. Um, but I would say that if it was my first time visiting the site, I might not sit through all eight minutes of that, I think. Sure, you probably go to About Us. What kind of information yeah. is there in the About Us section? Rich academic curriculum, that's good, but I would expect every school on planet Earth to say that. Sure, sure. <laughs> but, no, I, I like to see, yeah. sorry, it's hard to read that, um, you know, what is Waldorf? Um, yeah, does it talk about, like, the what Waldorf is and that sort of thing? Yeah, it talks about how it was, when it was developed um, by Rudolf Steiner in 1919. Um... How did you guys systematically go through the other sites? Uh, oh, we don't systematically do go through oh, okay. anything. <laughs> Sorry. We just randomly blabber oh. for about 20 minutes. Okay, great. Yeah, so, uh, like, what, 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 <laughs> systematically. <laughs> do you know what, have you ever watched this show? Yeah, yeah see? So, any, <laughs> so. Summer camp. Hold on. We have a summer camp, and we can go to summer camp. So what I, I do feel is that, like, so so, um, if I was coming to the site for the first time, I love I love video, and it's really hot right now. A lot of sites have a video on their home page, but I think I might like a video that was a little bit more, like, to the point. Like, this is who we are. This is why we're awesome. This is this is what we offer, and you do that in I don't know, like maybe three minutes at most, maybe. And and I'm not saying you you you. I mean, you still keep that video around because that video, to the right person, like down later down the the sales cycle, like they're really thinking about it and they're like torn. You know, should we spend the money? And then they sit there for eight minutes, just like, oh, look what they have. They have this and they have that and. And then, then you sell them on the, you know, the eight-minute experience. But I'm kind of wondering if, in that first, uh, you know, that first experience, you just say, you know, look, this is who we are, and this is this is why we would like to meet you. Like maybe that would be the next call to action. Like, you know, would you let's meet? I will say that, um, in in sort of that same vein, I do have I do have like a little bit of trouble sensing what the brand is on the website because it is very professional and very sort of shiny and the website has a, a or I mean the video has a particular feel to it but um, I do like sort of not know instantly what's different about this school versus another private school mm. maybe I would say that and I don't know I'm trying to bring it up on my site because I can't really look hey, at Greg, it. Hey, Greg, can you here. change the, uh, do you know that camera, cameraman tool? It, I'm, you know, we'll probably break the whole thing, but if you look at that cameraman tool, you might be able to uh, 
switch back while we're talking um, to the you know to their site. But yeah, so I do feel like it's a little bit safe. Like it's 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 very very polished, um, but maybe maybe almost you know like like their personality feels like maybe it's 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 not all you know as prevalent. I don't know. What do you what do you I think? See I'm gonna Sorry, I'm gonna God. help you. I'm helping you, Rocco. <laughs> I can't see the sides. I it. know you gotta you gotta use this awesome uh, internet. Well, on the yeah, maybe you can hook me oh, I'm gonna hook you up. Okay, cool. So yeah. I also know that like an issue with the the K through 12 high schools is you know you have a lot of different people to appeal to, a lot of different demographics. So you know you have thank you. Sure. you have people that um, you know people interested in the early childhood program are vastly different than people looking at the high school. Um, and a lot of it, I think, also has to do with what kind of prep schools you're surrounded by and what kind of images they present, obviously, who your demographic is. I mean, there's just a lot to consider. And um, I don't want to give the impression that this school is an option. And, like, the, yeah. this website, I mean, in, in the, um, the rolling graphic on the front, it, it does sort of express a little bit what's different. But I would say that that, yeah, it's tricky. Um, yeah. And I noticed the, the paragraph is talking about uh, preschool. Yeah. Like the opening. Okay. Yeah, what are some of your impressions, Greg? Um, okay, well I think that this site offers a lot more information than uh, the last site appeared to, but it offers it in a way that you really have to be digging through. Like, this is a book they have written here as a website. Really? You really have to dig into it. And I think, like, what Rocky was saying is, is totally on point here. Like, you know, people looking at preschool and, you know, interested in, you know, getting their kids involved in natural type of stuff is a, maybe a different audience than, like, people who are looking, shopping around for high schools. And... This kind of treats every single thing the same way. Like everything that they offer is presented in exactly the same way. And I guess maybe I could learn if I was to read all this, but I think you're really asking a lot. To do that. Yeah. So I think maybe they too just need to, I think, have a, uh, you know, say, okay, what are what is the most important thing we want on our home page and one of the things about a home page is people that come to your school like parents they you know they know where they're gonna go like they know where the you know their stuff is on a website and you definitely want to make that clear but I think a lot of times a, 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 a home page is a place where you are leave you know you're leaving from like nobody just wants to go to a home page and so you know you I think on on this home page you I, I, I think a lot of times those people are going to be new people and you want to I think give a new person a very clear path of like hey why don't you get this or check out this or are you, are you interested in early childhood yeah like middle grades elementary school are you a high school parent you know, yeah. From a different private school. Yeah. If I was just approaching the home page as someone with a child, um, you know, first thing I'll probably do if I'm if I'm interested in early childhood, I'll connect with the paragraph that's there in the beginning because it's about early childhood. But if I have a high school student, I'm going to be like, well, okay, now they mention high school, so I'm going to go to about us. I'm going to go to admissions. I'm going to start drilling down. I'm going to probably go to about us first and say. Okay, I don't see anything about high school. Then I'm going to go to admissions, and I'm going to say, okay, wait, where's the high school stuff? Maybe, mm. okay, I'm looking for the early childhood program. Okay, there, it's under program. So program is not a very intuitive word for me to represent curriculum or schooling grades. You know, So mm. as a parent of a high school kid, for example, yeah. I might hit a lot of buttons before I got to program and before I saw 
grades 9 through 12. Yeah. So, you have know, to consider. one of the things that you can do in Google Analytics is the, um, what do they call that, Greg? Is it the layover or um, where you can look at your stats with, you know, the numbers laying over the, the website? Is that what they call it these days? It used to be site overlay, and then they yeah. changed at least twice, and I don't remember what they call it. Yeah, but I mean, if you if you go to Google Analytics, they it, what I, it's something along those lines, and I would be very interested in seeing what are the most commonly clicked on buttons um, on that home page, and and that overlay does a really nice job of showing you that visually. Um, but yeah, like I think my my instinct here is. Um, a little bit more of a um, a video that is, and I bet they have it. A, a, you know, a just who we are, uh, short little video, and and just take this video and put it someplace else because it's awesome. It's an awesome video, but as a new person, I don't think I'd watch it. And then and then a something that's very simple, like like you know, click here to get more information or. You know, here's or open houses. Or yeah, I, I would want to know when to visit, when yeah. I could visit. Yeah. Um, I just clicked the form to request an admission packet, and um, that requires a lot of information. Oh, is it pretty big? Where it was is, that at? Um, right here. It is. It is kind of a hidden call to action because it's just normal text, but it is red. Oh, it's underneath the it's video. In the paragraph underneath the video. Oh, click on that, Greg. But the form is very, very large, and and if I just wanted maybe. A little more information about when I could drop by the school and visit. I would not. I, I would likely not fill out this form. Yeah. Um, I. I mean, I know that like you want that information, so you're all prepared. But um, you can get all that information on the phone. You know, really, the only information you really need is is a name and a phone number. Um, and and you, of course you can get a little bit more, but you should realize that every single field that you require or even ask for cuts down on your likelihood of somebody filling out your form. And everyone's going to come in a different sort of, uh, for lack of a better word, a, a sales cycle or enrollment cycle. You know, you're going to have a person who's just looking for a private school, then you're going to have yeah. a person who's looking for a Waldorf experience, but isn't the child's too. And then you're going to have someone who's yeah, looking. Too. For, to make a switch from public school, and they've heard great things about Waldorf and the child's in sixth grade, but they really just need to walk into the school before they even think about it. And so, like, as you think about all the different people and all the different stages that come to the home page, uh, a form like this is, is going to appeal to the people who are at the very end of the stage. And it is an admissions packet form, so I get that. I get that you only want serious people to get an admissions packet, but then my question is, what is there for the people who are in the in-between stages? Besides just sort of learning more, like, how are you going to capture their information? Because there should be something. You know, uh, I want to sign up for the newsletter. Uh, where do I go to just like you on Facebook? Because that's a great part of the sales cycle. I don't see any social media calls to action on the homepage unless I'm missing that. Yeah. Um, so, definitely. yeah, I think just, I, I think focusing on one or two calls to action, like, um, and and maybe like that form, it could even have three fields. It could have your name, phone number, and and comments, or like you know what what are you interested in? And um, and I guarantee you're going to get more forms. I mean, you know that that in itself. And so and and if if somebody wants to you know do admissions, then definitely fine. Like you need that admissions form, but you should also have something that's just a little bit easier. You know, mm -hmm. so. Um, this website, I think, was created. I feel like it was created by somebody very professional, very detail-oriented, um, and you need somebody a little, like, kind of, just uh, for dumb. That's the word, like me. Sally. You know, yeah, like <laughs> I need to click here. You know, <laughs> I just, you know, I mean, you just need like a big picture person to be like, I, you know, you've taken a, a scalpel, a fine tooth, you know comb over this and you need somebody with a sledgehammer that just says right here you're going to put like a six foot crater of do this. I, I think one, one way to do that <laughs> maybe in a slightly more professional manner would be um, no offense. No, no, no. Take, no, I'm sledgehammer's fine. You could, uh, you could actually have a couple staff members or parents or grandparents 
just sit down with you standing behind him at the computer oh. and say, uh, if you want to send your child here, just like a little, uh, you know, spontaneous focus group sort of environment, and just say, okay, you have a sixth grader. I would like to watch you navigate this site mm. and come see us or, oh. and request information so or you whatever it is you want a parent to do, and then watch your receptionist do it. <laughs> if you and don't like sledgehammers, do a study. Right, watch your mother do it. Oh. Watch, uh, watch your Look Aunt Veru do Look it. At and then Aunt Veru. Aunt Veru. And then... <laughs> Who is she? She's from Star Wars. Oh, Aunt Veru. Oh, she Aunt unfortunately Aunt died. Yeah. She Hopefully she had inheritance and she could have sent Luke to Waldorf. She could have. But she didn't. He would have then he in turned it with into... His questioning and his oh, long yeah. And it wouldn't have worked out. But, uh, worked out. yeah, Aunt and then Veru. as you see them interact with the site, you standing behind them knowing what you wish they would do, it'll give you just sort of um, organic uh, insight yeah. into some things that you could maybe improve on. All right, Greg, do we have time for that one more guy? Yes. All right, Ann, let's pound it out really quick. My yeah. kid, he loves the Friday Internet Marketing Show. He always loves it. He's telling him to go walk around the Yeah, we're like, walk around the museum. And no, he just wants to roll his eyes at us. Whatever. So, you know. YouTube says we have eight hours that we can do this. So we don't have to leave anytime soon. We can do this for eight hours. Oh. And this place is open till nine. All right, what do you got, Greggy? I'm pulling it up. Hold on here. All second. right. You, surprisingly, your little piece of a uh, brown paper bag does not make the best mouse pad. Come on, you just have to go with it. You, <laughs> you know, just let the brown paper bag be in control. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, good. So now we have the Waldorf School of Saratoga Springs. There we go. Very beautiful. So a lot of like actual kids in classes. Looks very organic. Um, there's a happy kid. This looks like uh, kind of a maybe a nice mix between the two at first mm. glance. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Education is not the filling of a pail, but the lighting of a fire. I dig that. I see it close. Yeah. Lots oh, yeah. The social wow, media right there on the first page. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Where is that? I can't see a lot. Oh. Um. So oh, you're looking. I'm looking here too, but there's. Oh, you the, know, Facebook the Facebook feed. There, so you can interact with that. Uh, oh, and you can see the shares. Like, they turned their whole front page into Facebook. Oh, and I'm on a mobile cool. site, which is great. Ooh, their um, site looks beautiful mobily. Ooh, nice work. Okay. Uh, okay, so, so first out of the gate, we're loving it on this end, Greg. What do you think? Um, I think it looks very, very nice. There's one, you know, there's... One thing I would suggest maybe here is that um, again it looks very professional to me, but as soon as I like, let's just say I came in off of like a Google search result or whatever, and I'm like I'm in Saratoga Springs and I look up Waldorf, right, or or something, you know, private education for my kid, and uh, when I land here, I'm like, oh, this looks nice, but as soon as I like scroll down, I kind of like the menu disappears, so there's mm -hmm. no. And their logo disappeared, and so I'm not reminded of who they are. Yeah, they might need to freeze. Can you freeze frame that kind of stuff at the top? I'm seeing that now in some designs where that's staying at the top. Not, yeah, um, that's I mean, a, it, yeah. it's not mandatory or anything, but uh, you know, it just might be something nice to think about. Yeah. I don't know how it is. Maybe we can look at an internal page here. Look at admissions. Look, I'll see, they tell us about the process. Ah, right. So they took admissions and then put process in it. Mm -hmm. So as opposed to the other people just said process, I think, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. So this is pretty cool. Like, I like that. I also like schedule a visit. I still There's think that. that's the, in admissions, so I'm glad they have that um, prominently there. I do feel, though, like it's almost... It's almost worth top navigation, but that's me. Oh, the schedule a visit? The visit or more information. You just or, want a call to action. Yeah, just that yeah. initial something. What are those three buttons at the top, oh, those yeah. three green buttons, Greg? Hold on for just a second, because uh, when I clicked on schedule a visit, I was on the admissions process page right yeah. here. Then I'm clicking on schedule a visit, and I expect, when I click on this, I expect maybe a little paragraph to tell me what's going to happen, and then maybe a nice way to do it. Right. Yeah. I just a page full of text. Oh, I Oh, and then a... I got to click again? Do you click yeah. here again? Yeah, down oh. here. 
last words on the page, a tiny, tiny little thing that says click here. Uh, yeah, that, uh, should, that should be this page. The three calls to action at the top are the calendar, which I assume is for parents. Donate now, okay. which is good. I, I'd be curious how much donations yeah. as a call to action and events. And events. Um, which is also probably, well, events could be visiting okay. events, but it could be current parent events. Yeah. I'm kind of curious about that. Wait, was that the click here click? So it's a donation click? No, the click no. here click takes us here to the contact us page. Uh, oh, okay. A million different ways to contact a bunch of different people. Uh, I think it's too much. But there's definitely no clear thing that says schedule my visit. Yeah, I think there should be another form on that schedule a visit. There should be a big phone number that says call here to schedule my visit or fill out this form. Exactly. And if, you know, four or five fields at the most. And then yeah. events, when I click the event button at the top, that's a, all the events are, are combined, whether you're a parent or a prospective parent. Every mm. event is in there, the open house. Is that good or bad? I... Sort of good. Because then as a prospective parent, I would be like, oh, look, they have this and they have that. Yeah, I guess that's true. So that's sort of okay. Then they have a Google Calendar you found. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. But so. once again, I guess it's about you know who the website is for and balancing the needs of all the different people that are coming and what you want each of those people to do. Yeah. So I feel like this website is very current community, current family mm. friendly for sure. So if they're like booked, like you know, if they've got a backlog of, of people, then you know it's good. Like if that's you know, if they're if they're uh, a, a waiting list for for prospective students, then that would be good. But if they if they you know there must be some need. Like there must be a, a some everybody wants something. So you might you either want new students um, or you want um, new, like, uh, you know, you want donations. Like, I don't, I'm not a big fan of just donate now because I just don't know, personally, I just don't know what I'm do donating for. Like, I don't, you know, I, do, I mean, I, I... Versus support our new playground. Yeah, support our new playground. Yeah, that's right. I just, I, I need a reason to donate. Also, I below the fold of this site, there is a lot of real estate dedicated to the Facebook feed and it seems like the Facebook feed is all three columns of Facebook feed. And I wonder if, um, you know, Facebook feed could be one of those. Yeah. And then the other two could be other things, you know, whether you want to repeat donation or repeat event, like an event feed or maybe dedicate it to um, prospective, dedicate some of that real estate to prospective parents versus existing parents or... Uh, I don't know. I, it's yeah. a lot. I, I appreciate that the social media is there. I really love that. Yeah. Maybe um, the social media should just be one of the, the pieces yeah. up there versus all three of those columns. I think I would maybe also like one <laughs> of those columns. There you go. You see, you give that guy a pen. Wow. See, like, um, I, I would like maybe one of those columns to just be maybe a quick paragraph about us and then, and not all about us, but, you know, click here to learn more because as I'm scrolling down that front page, like, I love the pictures, I love the quote, and then boom, I'm in Facebook, which is cool, but Facebook is very um, just, temp you know, per like, like it's, it's just now. A moment in time. Yeah, it's a moment in time. And I could use, I think, as a somebody new to the site, just a little, like... Frequently asked questions. Oh, frequently asked questions. That would be awesome. Yeah, and you could have, like, one or two there and then click here to read more or something along those lines. But... I do love that they have their Facebook there, but I don't know that it needs all three spots. Well, this is nice. I didn't actually understand that these were the pictures and that they were clickable. Oh, oh that is nice. Yeah, <laughs> oh, but we should know that. Yeah, those are tricky, though. Like, sometimes pictures are clickable, sometimes they're not. I never know. Um, yeah, but that's great because it's... You know, it's each demographic there. Oh, it is? Yeah, see, it's early oh. childhood, early elementary, middle, So and maybe the picture age. should have a little text it over it. like a click, little label like, underneath. Like, early childhood, learn more. Yeah. Elementary, learn more. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Because if, if you know, if Greg didn't click on those, you know, that's a pretty savvy dude. He's running... 
I'm crazy peak, Twitter ad campaigns after all. Peak game right now, you know. You are peak. You're peak. So. Um, and then we get a glance. Is a that's a soft call to action, but it's kind of it has a lot of prevalence too. So that, yeah. That looks like it's current. A current parent thing. That's what, cool. What I what I love most. I love a lot about this website, but what I love most for me are these three top buttons. Mm -hmm. At, you know, but what I want to know is if those are truly the three biggest calls to action, you know, and like, and if they are, then fine. But I kind of wonder if there might be one that's more important. You know, I mean, is the is the first one the calendar? Yes. Yeah. I don't know if you need it up there. I mean, aren't you going to learn where the calendar is as a student or as a as a well, there's parent? we get a glance. Too, so we it get is a, a little bit redundant. Yeah. So, and then what's the middle one? Donate now. Donate. Yeah. And that's vague to me. I just like. I mean, support our new this, which is going to be hard to say in a little circle. But I just, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to do that. And it's if, calendar and events. Seem calendar like and events. Yeah. The same thing to me. Uh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I think I I want you to I want them to keep those buttons, but I think I want them rethought. And you know, it's interesting if if those are the main the the most important things, like if they are, then it's interesting that they're not part of the main navigation. Like oh all. yeah, they probably think maybe that's redundant. But you're right. If it's that important, it needs to be in both places because. If you know some people aren't going to see those three buttons, they're just going to go right to the main navigation. I'll so. tell you what, like Sage really hit it on the head. If if in, if their enrollment is maxed out, then this site is good in that it's just it's really conducive to existing parents. Yeah, which it's is great. It's a really great resource. Yeah, but then okay, then if it is, then all I would suggest is that donate now button be more um, specific, like our new garden. You know, and you talk about the new garden, and then you're like, and it's only fifty thousand dollars away from completion. We only need one rich person, right? To, you know, on it, PayPal. You can, you know, donate fifty thousand dollars PayPal today. <laughs> Why not? Why not? All right, my kid is throwing stuff around. The guards are circling him. He's threatening to knock over uh, vases and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we got to go to big fun, buddy. All right. All right. Well, I think I think that we wrapped it up. That's pretty good for one day. Yeah, man. That was good. That was good. I I'm love sorry it. I missed the first one. I know you were. I'm so glad you came, though. This was so exciting. Did you feel embarrassed? No, I didn't. You know, the TED the TEDx Cleveland talk got out, and the lobby oh. became a busy, loud place, and yeah. I felt better. You felt better. Yeah, when TEDx it was is here. Yeah. When everyone was really quiet, yeah, yeah, eating yeah. their fancy salad. Right. Was, yeah. Fancy salad like, and me do not mix. I had to slink away. Yeah, I don't blame you. Okay. All right, Greg, we're leaving, buddy. All right, everybody, thanks for coming, and uh, we'll be back next week. Yeah, please come back. Bye. Bye.